Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Most Tarot. Let's begin this message. Now, these messages are messages from the universe that you have come to claim they are yours. There are four of them. I would like you to take whatever is good for you and leave, of course, the rest of it aside. So let's go see what the universe has as a very first message coming for you. And this is about change. Now, the lady, as we see, who is pictured onto this card She's looking a little bit mm, threatening, but in fact, she's not at all. That dagger that she's holding that we see over here is ready to sever emotional ties. Now that's very important what I just said. Do you have any emotional ties that you need to sever? Hmm. Now, what's really important over here is we need to sever the emotional ties within our lives with an outmoded way of thinking or maybe even patterns that no longer serve you. Freeing yourself from these negative ties are going to clear the way for you to have a positive new beginning. And this is what the universe wants for you. So you have to let go. You have to let go of the old thought patterns. You have to let go of the beliefs that are preventing you from experiencing greater joy and success today. Now, what you're going to gain is going to be so much more prosperous and inspiring into the future. Changing your thought patterns, changing your behavior, it's not easy. And you know what? It's going to take patience and it's going to take that conscious effort. But it's going to be well worth your while. You need to be aware and you need to be open to those new possibilities. You need to let go and you need to trust into the natural cycle of change that is occurring into your life right now. What you surrender is going to be replaced by something that is so much better. You may feel a little bit unsettled over the coming days because of these changes, because of these modifications, but you're gonna see, soon it is going to pass and all that moves forward, you're gonna be able to do it with great ease. So this change, it has the power to transform you, to, for you actually to embrace the most positive time with the knowing that you are making way for something new into your life, for something good, something beautiful, something that is so well deserved. So please give yourself as an affirmation that you invite this most blessed change into your life and knowing that it is going to lead to a positive transformation. This is about you surrendering all the thoughts, all the feelings that no longer serve you. And it's about replacing those with love. Let's go and get your following message. Very important before we do begin with the following message, which is an inspired warrior. Please, in order to not miss any more of these messages coming from universe, spirit, angels, or my daily love readings, don't forget to click that notification bell on that subscribe button. Let's move on forward to Inspired Warrior. Now your inner warrior, it is there, it is awakening, and it is time to take a stand for what you believe in. You need to be, right now, that inspired warrior over here. You need that inner spiritual fire because you are ready to face all challenges and all obstacles, and you're ready to move through these with courage and with strength and with resolve. So you may also find yourself even standing up for others or maybe even protecting those who are less able to stand up for themselves. So your inspired warrior over here, your fiery presence over here is going to be infused with love, with compassion, with kindness, and that and those are all those beautiful ingredients that you have that are right there within your beautiful soul and they are going to emanate. So this is felt by everyone and you are going to gain so much respect by others. This message is signifying strength, self-control, balance, and you know what? Beautiful wisdom. Give yourself as an affirmation that the flame of love and strength glows brightly within you.
This is about you standing up for what you believe in. It's about you moving through all challenges and obstacles with beautiful ease. And your inner strength, oh, it is going to be so infused with so much love. And that was your message of the inspired warrior. Let's move on over to this beautiful lady about listening to your heart. Now, we can see over here some butterflies. We can also see some ladybirds. They bring good fortune. Now, they're here to signify deep transformation that is taking place in your life as your true nature is going to emerge. You are embarking right now onto a journey. You're already onto a journey, but now you're going to embark on a brand new one, one of self-discovery. You're going to realize that you have so much to offer the world by just being you. Within your heart, there is great love. There is great wisdom. It is that kind of love and that wisdom which just have that power to transform all things. And as you listen and as you follow your heart, you are going to have that positive effect on all of those that are around you also. You need to surround yourself with nature. Why? Because nature embodies healing, power of love, awakening the same power that is right there within you. Your spiritual awareness is going to deepen and all you experience into the coming months are going to have a magical effect onto your life on every single person that is surrounded and around you. Now, butterflies, they are a very strong imagery for you right now, a very powerful symbol. They represent the transformation that you're going through. From now on, take notice every single time a beautiful butterfly just kind of flutters into your field of vision because it is positive reinforcement that you are onto that right track. So this is about you being onto a journey of self-discovery, which is going to lead to your self-mastery. This is about you listening to the love and the wisdom that is right there within your heart. Because love, it has the power to truly transform all things. And we're going to conclude over here with a very final message for today. And this is about questioning your beliefs. I feel it's so important to do so because something has maybe even caused you to falter or maybe it seems like things are just getting a little bit too difficult into your world right now. It happens. You start to examine and question your beliefs and realize that perhaps they're the source of the problem. So you need to look at your beliefs. You need to objectively and try to identify the ones that are restricting you in some kind of way. Because these beliefs, they are keeping you from experiencing greater joy. And generally, I do have to say, we inherit these beliefs from our family, our friends, people around us, society. So as much as we took them for granted and we didn't really question them, now it's time to free yourself of the beliefs that don't really serve you, that don't support you in any kind of way. Pay particular attention to those beliefs that stem from fear. Do you really need those? And if not, replace those beliefs with new and loving ones because this may also be that beautiful and good time for you to dis diversify maybe your knowledge, your awareness. Explore everything with an open mind and you're going to find that life is so rich, it is so beautiful, and it is just an endless truth of viewpoints that are coming your way. So please replace all those negative beliefs with new loving beliefs. Let go of the fear that is no longer serving a purpose into your life and your heart and your mind. They are open to new ideas. They are open to new and beautiful experiences. Please, let's welcome them in. And this, my beautiful souls, does complete your reading with the universe today. I do hope that you enjoyed. Please don't miss any more of these messages by clicking the subscribe button. Come and see me into a live reading at 4 p.m. Sending you so much love, so many blessings. I'll see you later on.